the place is famous for its diamond mines panna national park who hasn't heard the name located near the panna district in madhya pradesh this 540 square kilometer park was announced a tiger reserve in 1994 and since then it has seen a lot of ups and downs but today after many many years it is one of the best places in india to see a wild tiger in 2009 all the tigers got extinct from panna but today if we include the cubs as well there are more than 80 wild tigers here so recently we went to panna and honestly were so impressed by its beauty that it is still fresh in our memories so we thought why not make a video where we tell you all about the best zones in panna and which you should choose for your safari the first thing to know is that like any other tiger reserve in madhya pradesh panna has two types of zones core and buffer and panna has two core zones and two buffer zones among the core one is called madla and the other hinota so which one is better it is important to know that even though these core zones have different entry gates the jungle you wander is the same irrespective of which gate you choose to enter in both the cases you can explore freely the entire core area of the park both the gates are around 15 to 18 kilometers apart usually madla gate is better because the density of tigers and leopards is higher here on the other hand people entering from hinota also come to this part of the jungle very quickly so if you want to book a safari here first book madla and if it is not available book hinota and yes keep in mind which gate is closer to your resort for example the mpt jungle resort is built on madla gate and hence if you stay here this gate is better to enter the park this was the story of core zones now except core there are two buffer zones as well which are equally good to see wildlife sometimes you might not see a tiger in core but you can see one in buffer and in panna the night safari also happens in the buffer zones both the buffer zones are very different from each other if you want to see rich wildlife like leopard bear owl fox etc you should go to jinna zone jinna zone has a few villages within its perimeter so you'll get a feeling of a buffer zone and if you just want to see the tiger then akola buffer is better akola is full of lantana plantation which is a perfect hideout for a tiger that's why a lot of tigers have their territories in akola's buffer zone we did a night safari in both the zones and uploaded a full video on our channel if you want to see that click on the video link in the description below so if you ever come to panna our suggestion is to do at least two safaris in madla zone and do one night safari each in jinna and akola zones and yes because the jungle sighting keeps changing whenever you make a plan to go to panna let us know in comments so that we can help you book the best zone based on the current sighting status 
So I hope you like this small informative video and this would be helpful for you. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel Discover Wild Paws. We'll soon come back with more such wildlife content. Till then, keep discovering wild paws.